you are well too. Let me know how you are down below inside the chat, my friend. It's always good to see a familiar face. Uh, but yeah, uh, my friends, we are talking about Spider-Man, Miles Morales, and also technically Spider-Man in general, because the way that this stream is going to be going, guys, that we're going to be playing Spider-Man, Miles Morales, uh, which I'm actually just going to load up right now because I preloaded it, thank God for the new consoles being able to instantly do that. And uh, we're right where we left off, and I'm going to be talking about the Spider-Man movie No Way Home, and I'm also going to be talking about the new Venom movie. So that's going to be really, really cool. It's kind of like the whole entire idea about today's uh, stream. Is a crime against nature. Allow me to explain. I'm doing good too, my G. Hey, that's awesome, man. That's always like to hear. Yo, high five to that, man. It's always good when that, that ends up happening. But uh, yeah, so we're just going to be playing the Spider-Man Miles Morales, just enjoying the story. But at points, uh, so just for the main topic, just for funsies, since it's related, I thought I'd talk about the new Spider-Man movies. As you can also see, I got the... Uh, Was that... Oh, thank you for the follow, uh, Freddy, uh, uh, Chance. Thank you, uh, Freddy. I appreciate the follow. Uh, welcome to today's stream, Freddy. I hope that you are well, and let me know how you are down below inside the chats. And, uh, Glowy, uh, thank you for welcoming Freddy. Uh, Freddy, you are, uh, are here for Spider-Man, my G, or are you here just because you're just tuning in just to tune in? You can chat if you would like, but, uh, we'd like to talk about the new Spider-Man movies with you, because that's the whole entire point about today's stream. Or at least just that and also, uh, the video game. Speaking of the video game, does anyone notice that how that last stream I got the, uh, the animated skin, the movie skin from Miles Morales? I think this is very fitting. But yeah, uh, thank you, Freddy, because you just helped me get one step closer to 300 followers now. Because that is now my next goal. So, shoutouts to Freddy. He deserves it. Ban word. Alright, I can't say that. Alright, that's going to be a little bit difficult, but I'm up for the challenge. Alright. So, for the brand new movies that are going to be coming out, because you guys already know what I'm talking about. I'm really looking forward to them. I am looking forward to the Venom one, especially, just because Venom is my favorite supervillain within the universe. Uh, even though there is a lot of good ones like Doc Op and... Uh, Carnage, especially Carnage, because uh, you know the new uh, Venom movie is about Carnage. Uh, I don't know if you guys are, have noticed also too as well, but they actually made it so that way it's going to release earlier than intended. It's coming out October the first, so Yo, I'm really looking forward to that. For so yeah, we're going to be having uh, Venom versus Carnage in the new Venom movie, and Woody Harrelson as Carnage, by the way, excellent casting role. Like that, that is really great for Marvel. Venom is technically a villain, yes, but the, however, though, he's one of the villains that I would like to consider um, anti-hero-esque, where it's like they're reluctantly a hero at times, because here's the thing, is that, keep in mind this, is that Venom is not really uh, just a, an entity by himself in its entirety. He's still also just as much of Eddie Brock, who Eddie Brock is a co-worker of Spider-Man from the Daily Bugle, which is the, the you know, the... the uh, Jameson's like newspaper industry thing and Eddie gets upset with Peter Parker's version of Spider-Man because they're competing against with each other and Peter inevitably like gets better than him and so Eddie gets fired and stuff like that that's at least like one of the timelines and how it goes and all that stuff uh, the new Venom movie doesn't actually have Peter in it so far as I'm aware I believe this might be its own independent universe but they might merge one day uh, so for like the Tom Hardy one's different, but I'm going based off the original Venom that I know, the original story. Uh, basically, Eddie Brock just gets jealous, and uh, bef uh, a few months prior, or something like that, when uh, Peter wore the the symbiote, the Venom symbiote, and was basically the Venomized version of, of Spider-Man. Um, eventually, when he got rid of that suit, the Venom symbiote felt betrayed, and then the symbiote uh, bonded with Eddie based off of his grief and their mutual hatred for Spider-Man, forming the actual Venom villain we know. And they, they hate Peter, or they hate Spider-Man in general. And uh, However, though, even though that's the case, there is brief moments of time where the human side of Eddie still shines, and uh, he sometimes works with him. Venom is not always a bad guy all the time. He does end up causing problems, but there has been times where he does work with the good guys. Venom, is, like, there's an exception where, like, uh, I, I like to believe that a true villain is based off of its core, like, what they naturally go back to. So, like, for example, like, let's take a event, like, let's say Suicide Squad. We all know about how the whole plot of Suicide Squad is the bad guys are trying to technically save the day, but reluctantly against their will. And what do they inevitably go back to? Being supervillains. 
And so there's certain times where like an anti-hero, as an example, like the Punisher, he's got a lot of dark attributes about him, but he's still at the end of the day is a good guy because he's trying to do just the right things, but he's just doing it with violence. Uh, he's kind of like a military soldier, if that's the case. Uh, so there's like whatever role they naturally go back to after their mission is done, that's what I believe that they are. And even though Venom for the most part, is a bad guy and does go back to bad stuff. He does kind of equal out and does just as much good stuff if you research it hard enough. He's just naturally more known as a villain. In fact, the newer Venom interpretation with Tom Hardy, they're trying to make him like an anti-hero, make him kind of like a good guy, which I think is kind of cool because that's kind of what Venom is. Venom's never really been a 100% true bad guy. So that that's just my take on it. And the only reason why I paused, by the way, is because I was about to start another main story mission. I just didn't want to have the dialogue talking. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to talk about the movies uh, before cutscenes. Or, or just when there's not a cutscene going on. But uh, yeah, that's coming out October the 1st. I really do love Venom. I really do love the universe in general. And then No Way Home coming out in uh, Christmas. That is going to be really, really fun. Because that version is going to be so cool. It's probably going to be the best movie for Marvel since like Endgame, and I mean it too, because you realize that there's a lot of rumors, and there, well, I mean, there's not even necessarily rumors. There's just flat proof on the internet, and you can't deny it, even though unless you're Andrew Garfield, and then you just completely deny it, uh, <laughs> which I respect as deadpan. But uh, there's a lot of speculation about how that Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield, the previous two people that played Spider-Man roles, are going to be playing Spider-Man again in Tom Holland's newest and last spider-man movie for like a big bang because usually like in the marvel installments at least for solo independent movies uh the main actor only gets like three movies or a trilogy so for tom holland um unless he's gonna because as far as i'm aware his contract um tom holland has no way home as his last independent spider-man movie and they think he's got one more movie that's like mixed which is like an avengers type of movie and then he's done, and then his contract is done, and then they might reboot Spider-Man and inevitably soon again have a fourth Spider-Man because you can't kind of can't continue the way that this movie is going with No Way Home. Uh, basically, they're going to just try to have a big freaking palooza and basically do a Spider-Verse where they just match all the Spider-Man to one. And you realize that if it's confirmed that Toby, Andrew, and Tom are all in the same movie as Spider-Man, the fucking box office is going to go nuts. I know it'll go nuts because there's been a person that's been a part of every Spider-Man generation. There was people that respected Toby and Andrew. And so if you put them all together, every single Spider-Man fan ever in the last couple decades will see that movie. Yeah, I know that there's a, a Spider-Man Miles Morales uh, sequel that's going to be coming out in, uh, I think, 2022. So yeah, there's another Spider-Man animated movie for Miles, which is going to be cool. I also feel like there's rumors that a lot of people might be missing, but Spider-Man Miles Morales might also have an appearance uh, in No Way Home because they're basically blending in all the universes, so why not? I mean, I, I can see Miles being also a fourth Spider-Man. Might, might be digital, might be a real-life version, I don't know, but uh, I can see it happening. All right, so here we go. So this is the mission where we got to meet up with uh, Miles' uncle. I got to call you back. Hi, right, Miles. Spill it. Give me the whole situation. Finn, wax on, underground. It's just a lot, you know? You're 17. You're stressed. And you're a superhero. You gotta cut yourself some slack. You still making beats? Not much since I started this. Work-life balance, kid. Most important thing. Here little project your dad and I started back in the day. A mixtape. Had rhymes ready and everything. <laughs> How come I never heard about this? Because we never finished. We sampled street noise around the way. Wanted the city to be our beat. But your dad had the masters. And after things went bad between us. <sighs> but you can finish what we couldn't. Plus, it'll take your mind off work. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what do I do? Load that up. I'll walk you through it. Hmm. So I'm just, I'm just gonna be I'll making music. To guide you. Scan the source. Holograms, huh? You still in my moves? <laughs> this was in my playbook before you even born, young blood.
that's just a rumor. Are you saying that as a question or a statement? Because uh, the Miles Morales thing, that, that might be a rumor. But I know for 100% sure that Toby and Andrew are going to be in. Especially Andrew, because we've seen the, the freaking clips on the internet. I can't show them, but y you've seen them if you've seen them. Sorry if it's a spoiler. But I, I feel like, if anything, it makes it more exciting. Okay, don't think about Finn. Focus on sounds. Clear my head. Scan the holograms, and it'll unlock files on that drive I give you. You figure out which sound you're looking for. While holding L2, press triangle to play the original sample. Now try and find the original sound and grab a clean sample. Great level. Over here somewhere. Good sound, but it's muffled. Try and get a clear line of sight. Is it this? It was right around here. And what the hell is the, the recording button? It was pushing in the thumbstick. Back up a little. Your levels are clipping. Make sure you've got a clear line of sight. Don't want any distortion. So I can't have any distortion here, so I gotta back up enough. Try moving in a little closer. Good sound, but it's muffled. Try another angle. Gotta be this thing. Is it not the crane? It's something this direction. Pretty sure it's behind me. It's behind me. Nah, get it. Whoa, 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 return to the mission. Yeah, I don't want to. Hold on, hold on, Miles. Is it the ship? I think it's the boat moving. Gotta be the boat. Yeah, it's the fucking boat. Why would it not be the boat?
maybe it's this bow? Because he said it was, like, red hot right here, but I needed, like, a clear sound or something. It's all about the angles, right? You hear that, right? Let me turn up the audio. Is it not the boat? I, I feel like a dumbass. Gotta be the fucking boat. Not this way. Thought you said you needed to clear your head. Done already. I just don't understand the distance crap about trying to be too or far or close. See, that's us too far. But I think this is what it is. Yeah, because the only thing. It... Need to be a little closer. To oh, I get it. It's the fucking buoy thing, the red thing. Yeah. That's what it was. Rest of the sounds you need are spread across the city. I left a few messages for you, too, to help you get a feel for each location. Oh, dope. Hmm. Not now. Hey, get some you like? Yeah, really unique dynamics. See, old man still knows his stuff. <laughs> and you were right about clearing my head, too. I know what to do about Finn. I gotta see her. Try to talk her out of all this. In person? Where? Trinity Church. Tomorrow night. Why so interested? Because you got a target on your back the size of Jersey. You don't have to protect me. Someone should. <sighs> you know... He said you never finish his take because of how things went bad between you and Dad. What actually happened between you two? It was complicated. We were too similar and too different. <sighs> finish the take, get all the samples, and you'll hear the whole story. Promise. All right. Thanks, Unc. I wonder what, who he was calling, by the way. Do you think he's going to betray him? Trinity Church. Remember, Tinker is yours, but leave the boy alone. Oh. Oh, he's going to do a hit. Oh, he's going to put a hit out on Finn. Oh, that ain't good. Yeah, that, that's that's not good at all. Gonna try to make some money off of Finn. Uh oh. I was beat. Okay. I'm gonna call Finn. As soon as I'm ready to go. Is there anything in here I should see? Glad my gear survived the move. Oh yeah, that's his mixtape stuff area. I wish you were still here, Rick. Wouldn't think to definitely use your advice. <sighs> Things were a lot simpler back then. I wonder what happens if I read these after I proceed throughout the campaign a little. 
because he's definitely giving me different dialogue. Here, let, let me just explore the house. Maybe I can get some different dialogue. Love an old meter. Nobody. That's who. Mom? Yankee? Anyone home? Maybe it's just me. Mom's room is starting to look like mom's room. I'm gonna explore for a second. Protest back in the day. Political fire runs in the family. Bet Abuela has some choice words about our current situation with Roxanne. What do you guys think about the the video game uh, for Miles here? I think it's pretty good so far. It's definitely different than the movie, but uh, in, in a good way though. Like so, sometimes, like I, I'm a purist and I want the stories to be identical, but I, I'm respecting the different take. Uh, honestly, Mom's killing it. No way she's gonna lose. It's, it's, it just depends on how they do it in certain Dad games, you know. Been a little crowded with me, Mama Genki, all here. Just still can't get over how the one kid's name is Genki. A little music be nice. Never gonna get tired of this one. <laughs> what about the others, though? Should have paid more attention when Abuela was teaching me to dance. Hmm. That Christmas one. Let me keep looking what they still got in here. Gotta ask Uncle Aaron where he got this. Hmm. There are only just the three. Yeah. Let me pick this one for some reason. I, I just have a good feeling about this one. I'm, I'm kind of in a Christmassy mood. I wonder if I can also just play multiple. Ah, yes. Some funky Christmas music. It's a fiesta. Ah, uh, can I not do the others? Damn it. Do a yeet, 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 dab. <laughs> Hard to think of Ma as a little kid. Oh, yeah, this is her height measuring from when she used to live here because this used to be their grandma's apartment or something. Bridge sticky. attack didn't slow mom down at all. It's a sticky note. Miles wanted to help you sleep. I'm at the campaign headquarters. Text me if you need me, Mama. Okay. Kind of nice to have the apartment to myself. The coolness is too is that since it's just the apartment, it doesn't feel overwhelming with the amount of like stuff you can explore. But there's still a decent amount of stuff you can look at, which is cool. All right. Well, we're still technically within the campaign, so we can't even do the beats yet. So we just gotta do the phone call thing. I'm pretty sure about Finn, right? Or is that just the, the end of the mission there? Okay, I think that was the end of the mission then. Alright, not a big deal. By the way, did this update... Now, I think we might have already done technically all the side quests and, and everything in the game. Because these are all done now. Unless it lets you redo them. Which it looks like it does. But uh, technically by completing them in general, we have completed them. So that means that technically the only... All right, time to call Finn. Oh, I am gonna call Finn. Okay. She answers. Oh, here Hi. we go. Spider-Man. Finn. Hey. 
We need to talk. I didn't know I was gonna auto do In something. Person. So you can lie to me again? So I can make this right. Please. Meet me at Trinity Church. No more lies, I promise. If you're screwing with me, <sighs> fine. I'll see you there. At least she's willing to meet. Okay. Trinity Church, let's go. I didn't know I was just gonna auto do that. But um no what I was I was gonna say was that uh when it comes to the side quests in this game, I think they're technically all done. It's just that uh there's the side quests you get from missions, like for example the music tapes, which is the thing I want to do now, which is the Prowler music things. Or or these right here. Sound samples. Cause it tells you if you've already done some certain things. Cause we've done I think we've done all the challenge ones. Here, let me see. Let me see if we've done all of them to a certain degree. That's just a crime that I think just happens naturally at random. Uh, but I've un I'm not ranked in a stealth challenge, so I gotta still do that. What's this? Oh, it's a Roxxon Lab. I've still not done all those yet. Okay, so we've got Roxxon Labs. If I mean, let me just see all the different types of logos we can even get. We got the sound things. Rocks on labs. We still have the supply caches. And we got the time trials. We technically have just these things, which are on which are on the map, which are definitely different than the than the um, normal side quest we have pulled up. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to go to these and I wanna see Uncle Aaron's story because obviously he's going to be there anyways for like a hit probably. So might as well get the story background before we do that. So just figure out what the sounds are because this gives us the dialogue, remember? Do something, Danny. Do you ever think about what you're inciting? About your journalistic integrity? More than some. Because your campaign against Roxxon is baffling to an actual journalist like myself. You should be attacking the young, unproved vigilante who keeps causing problems in Harlem. What? You, you twist everything Spider-Man does into something malicious while... Simultaneously excusing everything Roxxon does wrong. All Spider-Man needs for you to support him is to get a better PR department. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. The only problem Spider-Man fixes are the ones he causes. I won't praise the arsonist for putting out his fire. Meanwhile, Roxxon built a beautiful plaza in a failing neighborhood. By tearing down homes and businesses, our new Spider-Man is proving that Harlem isn't the failure Roxxon makes it out to be. And you, Mr. Jameson, for someone who claims to love New York, you sure do seem to hate New Yorkers. You are clearly emotional, young lady, so I'm invoking the mercy rule on this debate. Jared, shut it down. And whose idea was it to debate a teenager? There are no good objects to destroying a child. Get the car. I need a hot stone massage. Hello? Hello? Uh, yeah. Thanks for the debate that you demanded, Mr. Jameson. Everyone else, remember to stand up every half hour while working at a computer. Bye. Well, that was an interesting podcast. <laughs> Here we go. Your dad and I fell asleep listening to this sound every night when we were kids. Got a good beat. Okay. Something rhythmic that was around when Dad and Uncle Aaron were here. It's gotta be the train. I think it's back there. Wouldn't it be the train? Uh, getting too far away. Too Pretty far. sure it's behind me. Behind you? I'm not gonna find it over here. Not this way. Not this way. Yes, the fucking train. Oh, my. 
Yes, the fucking train. I figured. Just gotta wait for it to show up again. Maybe something mechanical? I figured. Yes, that's it. Dear Pecan, you probably don't know this, but your dad and I grew up not far from here, before we moved to Brooklyn in high school. Hearing the clatter of the wheels, the squealing when the trains turn or stop, always makes me think of me and your dad's late night talks. Mostly about what we wanted to be when we grew up. I wanted to be a space alien. Your dad's dream changed. Doctor, firefighter, social worker. But he always wanted to help people. Yeah, sounds like Dad. So yeah, I am gonna get backstory about the 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 conflict if I do these sounds. Okay, so they're definitely worth doing then. So let me uh, try to do these, and then we'll go meet Finn, and then after that, uh, we will either do another set of stuff like more of the loot caches, or we'll just do some more main quests. I I'm not really worried about it either way. We can get them done whatever order we want. Cause I think we're only like ha just a little over halfway through, or I think we're just under halfway through. I think once we do this, we're not halfway through the campaign. mom lived here right after college. You know that? She and your dad were dating. Three of us spent a lot of time here. We got used to this soft, steady beat. Soft beat. A soft beat. What's the sound? This is too far. Is it close? It's something up there. Can I get on the window? What's over here that would make that sound? Source is blocked. Rhythm. Rhythm. Something up here. Is it in the window? Here. It's like right there. It's like behind the, the holiday sign. It's right there in particular. <gasps> Wait a minute. Is it the is it the water tower? It's been around a while. Yeah, it's the water tower is what it is. Okay. Is it not? Wait. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's the water. It's right there, though. I gotta back up. Hold on. Maybe I just gotta get back down here then and line it up. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Bit subtle, but a good beat. Things were good back then. Felt like they'd be good forever. Your mom got her first gig as a teacher. Your dad was new to being a cop, and I just started calling myself the problem. I figured we all kept secrets about our jobs. Couldn't last that. Your dad's job and mine cross paths too often. Man, Uncle Aaron, if you would have been anything else, my mom and dad would have supported you all the way. Happy holidays, Spider-Man. Have a good one. Oh, thank you, Random Citizen. 
Yeah, that that sucks. Unfortunately, that that happened the way that it had to with uh, his uncle. Hey, uh, oh. Spider-Man. I was thinking, and it's totally cool to say no. How would you feel about coming on my show? Uh, I mean, I don't really do publicity, secret identity, that whole thing. <laughs> right. Totally. No pressure. I just think people would like to hear from the new guy. You know? I don't know what I'd say. I'm just kind of doing my best, you know. <laughs> yeah. I that's true for everybody, but your best includes dodging bullets and running up skyscrapers. Hmm. Maybe when I'm on summer break and have more time? I mean, uh, when I take vacation from work. From my job. Yeah. Anyway, if I was gonna go on any podcast, it'd be yours. That is the best compliment I've gotten all week. Maybe ever. <laughs> okay, well, um, just let me know when your summer break rolls around. Bye. So I guess it's not gonna happen then in this game. All right, oh well. But I am, I am liking how we are getting the backstory. Although the musical beat idea is definitely unique, but I'm, I'm, I'm wondering why. It, I mean, it's just because obviously it's supposed to say like, "Hey, Miles should take a break and clear his head." But I don't know. I just, I just find this to be a little. Actually, well, it's not entirely silly. You know, it actually, fun, fundamentally, it does make sense because of his uh, character about him liking music. I just, just didn't really want to do this just because I thought it was gonna be complicated, but it's not as complicated as I thought it was. This requires a little bit of creativity. Okay. This is a good one. Me and your dad used to hang around here. Listen while the whole station came alive. That's what you need. Something at the station. Traffic? Is it this? Too far away. That's such a unique sound for a fire department. Sounds like fucking death metal, just like. Too far. Is it in here? I like that. Yes, the, the fire truck. It's, it's it's getting gas. I think hanging around here is how your dad got the idea to be a cop. I said, man, you're not uptight enough for that job. And he wanted to make things better from the inside. Pretty sure he died trying. You can't make things better, Dad. So will I. Oh, hello, random citizen. You want to see me? My eyeballs are green. Say cheese. Exploding bridges are exactly what happened to the Spider-Man vigilante Roman Green. Holidays. But why don't nobody do that? Why did he just point? I don't get it. I guess he was trying to show me about a crime, I guess. <laughs> I love that this game doesn't make you have to, to, to swing a web on anything. You see how it just makes you just like literally just swing a web anywhere? Because obviously you see there's like nothing for him to grab. He just swings. It's convenient that way. This one was all your dad's idea. You need something that's always in this park. Quiet on their own. Loud in a group. Loud in a group? It's birds. Uh, hmm. It's definitely pigeons. I just have to find the pigeons. It. Maybe, but it's probably too quiet to work well. I just thought there was pigeons nearby that I just couldn't see. Too close. Yeah. Nah, getting too far away. There they are. Hey, where are you going? Come on, man. Probably something you'd always find here. Like 
birds or trees or that's what i'm saying yeah it's no, fucking birds no, no, not trees it's where the birds go that's the question i lost the birds Oh, AI. I in the sky I guarantee you it's birds I just need to figure out where the hell that they are oh they're back here again they fuck didn't know they landed back again hold on let me see where they go I think it's back there there's a lot of birds around here maybe definitely birds but Ideas to find them. Yeah, there they go. My mom's frying bacon sandwiches. Too far. I gotta get close enough. Oh, camo. I had to get right on top of them. How did Dad record this? Was he a pigeon whisperer? This was way back, before high school. We were hanging in the park one day, and someone dropped a hot dog. You know how that goes. The place was swarming with pigeons. But Dad stopped cold. He said, Aaron, man, that's music. Listen. Next day, we were crawling all over Manhattan looking for beats. Like you are now. I remember the first time they showed me how to sample. Uncle Aaron had the gear, and Dad had the ear for music. Honestly, this is realistically how you should make music because you never know what could theoretically be a beat. This definitely is creative, and I can see how this would be a lot of fun. Because I, uh, I watched a YouTube video recently about how someone did that. They just sampled just sounds and they basically made a beat out of it. It's, it's really creative. It's, I mean, it's how you make music. It's just preferred sound if you, if you really think about it. I'm just trying to make sure that when I go to that one that's next to the yellow marker that I do that one last just in case it starts the mission. Okay. It's right over here. We're like really in the city now. Times Square. Easy to find someone in the crowd here. Or lose one. Sound you need like an electric current. A current. See what it is. Cheating with venom. <laughs> nah. It says it's far, which means it's at least close then technically. It's, it's, it, like, because whenever it does source block or too far, I know I'm at least close. See, see otherwise that's nothing. Something in here. Wait. Bell guy? Ah. Good to see Feast out here. But that sound would drown out the rest of the track. some coffee don't think I brought my wallet man it's not the right sound it's such a unique sound all right I gotta also look up just in case too close is it the street performers It might be the street performers. Yes, yeah, the street performers. Nah, getting too far away. Oh my goodness. Too close. Too 
Damn it. Do I gotta be up here, maybe? Too close. Really close. Is it the building? It's the building. Oh, that's cool. Love how alive that feels. It's the Roxxon building. After I started calling myself a problem, met my first client right under this sun. Neon flags hard to miss, and the crowd makes it easy to blend in. He wanted me to steal a painting. I looked across the square and saw your dad looking back at me. He never said anything. Just turned and left. He didn't know everything, just that I was a thief. But that was enough. I think he saw where we were headed long before I did. If you would have tried to act right sooner, he would have forgiven you. I know he would have. So, we got... Wait. Wasn't one of these supposed to be, like, right next to this? Maybe I remember that wrong. Okay, well, there's three left, I think. So I think I, I, I didn't miss any up here. Yeah, there's only three left. So I'll do this one, this one, and I'll technically do this one. I'll go back up and around. Yeah, so let's see how his story goes. So that way we know everything. And if you guys are enjoying today's stream, definitely please consider dropping a follow, by the way. I greatly appreciate it. This game is really a lot of fun. By the way, going back to the, uh, the, the Venom and Spider-Man movies... Yeah, but, dude, I'm just looking forward to them so much, because, like, I haven't watched, really, like, any Marvel movie, like, seriously, in the last couple of years. Like, in the last year or two, though, I have, because of, like, a COVID, and also just in general, like, being able to get free movies back at my old job. Um, but, like I said, there's only a couple of movies I missed, but I have caught up on the newer versions of Spider-Man. So I am caught up on Tom Holland's Spider-Man, which is good. And I'll, I'll just say this is that... I'm really looking forward to the movie just because I love how that they're trying to make this an all-out movie where they're basically being like, hey, you know what? We're going to pay not only a lot of fan service, but we're also just going to be just like making a, a, just a badass Spider-Man movie. Like, they're not trying to like make it continue into Tom Holland's later last movie because obviously this will be before Tom Holland's last appearance in anything. They're just being like, you know what? We're just going to make a badass Spider-Man movie and do a lot of fan service and just go out with a bang. And I really respect that. Basically doing the ultimate service to uh, fans of this genre, specifically Spidey. It's great. Same thing with the Venom movie, too. This sound always feels like someone celebrating. Even when it's just telling time. Your dad thought so, too. So he had to include. A sound that tells time. Like, the new Venom movie basically seems like that, uh... It's trying to set up the early stages for... You know, I think I think what it is, I think what they're gonna do is that I think for Tom Holland's last appearance in any other Marvel movie that's not his own, I think they're gonna cast him for a Venom movie. That's probably what they're gonna do, because technically, uh, unless they're gonna put Venom in No Way Home, which I don't know how they would necessarily do, um, they'll probably just put him in a Venom movie against Tom Hardy. That's my guess, or at least that's what I hope. Because I would love to see Tom Hardy and Tom Holland fight each other as Venom and Spider-Man. That'd be great. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think that, uh, that will be definitely the case. I think that's what they're also trying to gear up Venom towards is a, is a Spider-Man fight. It's a bell. He said it sounded like a celebration. That's easy. Too close. Is it above me? It's a bell. I, I know it's a bell. Is this on the bottom here or is it in the Happy top? Holiday. Too far. It's not that. I know it's not that. Watch it, Spider Man. Celebrating 
something that does both. I better go before I miss my train. Is it over here? I, I could easily tell it's a bell, so where the hell's a bell? Just get, I know it's not this one. I'm just gonna get out of my Pretty way. Sure phones can ring whenever. It has to be something else. That way it doesn't confuse the prompts. Cause that way, if I if I know I inevitably find a prompt again, I know it's exactly that one rather than debating between them. Bell. Source block. This is a source though. Too far. No clocks around here. Oh. The church bells. Yeah, so where is it? Oops, not gonna find it over here. Can't close Got places to be. I know it's not that either, but like nice. I said, I'm narrowing it down. Doesn't tell time. See now it doesn't. No see, here. see now it has no prompt, oh, which means I know it's. N now I know it's something that I don't have to debate between. Now I just have to find the church bells or just find the last prompt. See how it also narrowed it down for miles. Just where the fuck is the church? Is that the church? It's gotta be the church. Yeah, I figured it would be. Nah, getting too far away. Too far. There we go. That's it. Ringing on the hour. When I hear those bells, I remember the last time I was here. Stop. Your dad had just graduated from the police academy. I didn't go to the ceremony. So I met him here after. I just had to Bars stop my Google Mitch. Mini. Strawberry for him, peanut butter for me. I don't know why I remember that. He said he couldn't cover for me anymore if I got in trouble. I told him I was done with that life. I was lying. But he believed me for a while. Or at least pretended to. Man, things got complicated between them. And also just shows you how people try to at the end make ends meet but they do it different ways Ma's dad decided to be the good guy and his uncle decided to be the bad guy but they still both wanted to make ends meet for a, a common goal it's just they had very different ways of doing it just sad that sometimes people take the bad path but you, you can tell his uncle's technically a good guy at least I think he is unless this hit thing goes through like I think it's going to I wonder if there's ever been a timeline where uh, Miles faces his uncle uh, in the the Miles interpretation of Spider-Man, like his universe, if he just regularly fights his uncle, like eventually if they'll become enemies. I don't know if that's a thing, but uh, could happen in this game. Well, I, I'd wait and see, I guess. This plaza and the blocks around it are alive with sound. What you're looking for is light, distinct. Light, huh? Okay. Definitely in the China shop, it sounds like bowls, like food. Or it's these thingies. That's almost identical of a sound. Why won't it let me record, though? Compared to after holidays. Nah, getting too far away. My gee, it says they're too close. <laughs> oh, wow, it's definitely that thing. Oh, it's the wind chimes. Never mind. Something distinctive. Too far. My bad. I gotta get closer. It's the wind chimes. 
I just had to look up. Wind chimes. That sounds good. This class is where I had my first job. I was fresh out of high school then. Didn't have the gear or the mask. Guy paid me to mug his boss. Rough him up, take everything in his walk. Your dad found out. He stood under those wind chimes yelling at me for an hour. He never told our folks. He made me promise I'd stop stealing. I wish I kept my word. You deserve better. I wish you had too. Maybe you and Dad would have stayed close. I can't imagine ever turning my back on my family. Wonder if that's foreshadowing. All right, last one. It's funny the one dude's complaining about being cold. You should come to Michigan, buddy. It's freezing fucking cold sometimes. There was one time Michigan had weather that was colder than Antarctica. You guys realize that? It was one degree, but it was still colder. There was one time Antarctica had a hot day. We had a cold day. We were technically colder than Antarctica one day. It was the weirdest thing ever, but justify the reason why the state sucks for winter sometimes. I mean, I like the winter, like, during Christmas time. Uh, but I don't like the long, cold, painful dark depressing winters like the hunger games shit that that's just annoying i'd rather just have normal it's christmas then that that's that's what i prefer that type of winter and uh snow i have fun with this i had a repeat client i always met here got real used to waiting listen hearing this sound running on a tight schedule a sound on a schedule It's like a truck. That's a truck. Take us back there. It's in here though? On a schedule. Move out. I'll be fighting you. And you'll be the other fighting you. People won't be able to tell us apart. I'm the only daughter in the house. Come on, this is great. Let's try to look for money from the credit card bank. It's not the ATM machine, but I'm just gonna get in my hair. But that happens all day. Not at specific times. Yesterday. Specific times. Is it the boat? Oh, it's the boat. The sound of something on a schedule. Full alliteration. I just had yeah, I figured it was something out of the map. Hearing horns. That's right. Clients I met here used to take the ferry over from Jersey. Working for him was good money, until he got busted. He's how your dad found out about the problem. Not that it was me, but that a thief was making it big in New York, and your dad volunteered for the case. I could feel him closing in. I had to try and guess which would be worse. I told him, but he caught me. That'd be me. I... I don't know what I'd do. That can't be the only reason Dad cut him off. Not if he fessed up. It just wasn't dad. Hey, young blood. You got almost everything you need for the trap. You just unlocked the spot where you could find the last piece. Hope it works for you. Spot in Harlem. Oh, there is one more piece. I wonder piece. what the last piece is. Obviously, he's gonna pro probably try to, like, double-cross him or some shit. Because, obviously, like, he was the, the, the radio thing and talking about hitting up Finn or, or like getting like it's gotta be a hit on Finn like to kill Finn and to keep Miles alive but the problem is though is that this will definitely sever something with their relationship um that's probably what this is that screwed over um him at, at the end of the day with his dad like uh, Aaron, uh, or in this case, Miles' uncle, he probably tried to put out a hit on somebody that was close uh, or just betrayed someone's trust after he revealed his identity and maybe that's when he had enough. Because if his, if his uncle has been doing this ticket booth thing, like let's say he has been retired like he says he has been, he has been doing this prowler thing, either he's lying and he has been doing it this whole time or Miles has tempted him to, into going to be a bad guy again, and then that just uh, closed off everything to him. It's 
all the way back up here again. Back to the beginning side quest. Yes, yeah, so that's back at his uh, Uncle Aaron's place. Okay, let's see how this goes then. He's above or under this. Man in subway tunnels. Guess a good thief needs a good hideout. Ah, uh, figures. Whoa, I'm kind of jealous of his lair, the lab, the basement thing. It's kind of cool though. My mom bought him this at a flea market. What was a joke about? Uh, can't remember. Well, let me look before I, I actually open up the computer, because that's, that's going to have the main thing. Always making upgrades. I definitely got my soup hacking skills from Uncle Aaron. Did he abandon this, or is he still using this one, though? Maybe I should take a few swings. Nah, I'd probably break it. Made you something should keep you safe. Use the sound of the city. Use the sounds. Frequency lock? <laughs> something new every day. Hey, kid. Hope the suit fits. You asked why me and your dad stopped talking. He was investigating the problem. It led him to my clients, people like Simon Krieger, Lewis and Fisk. Your dad couldn't afford to make enemies like that. Not with you and Rio in the picture. So I told him. Hope he'd back off, and he did. For good. He didn't want me around. Didn't want you to turn out like me. Hope this suit helps you be better. Take care, Spider-Man. Thank you, Uncle Aaron. For everything. Yeah, sorry about that.